Okay, there have been three Gargan- well, I would say two Gargantuan moves in the Overwatch League yesterday. Like, absolutely massive, changing the tide of both of these teams off-season so far. So, first of all, we're going to go through the one that is not so big, shall we say, and this is London Spitfire letting go of Glister. The funny thing about this is Glister was arguably London's best player last season. He was in the Widow 1v1, he beat Fitz in the Widow 1v1, he was an all-star. And uh, they've let him go, and he's LFT. He's not, he's not been let go and is on another team. He is putting an LFT post out. That is crazy to me that Glister has not instantly found another team. London have not got any money for him. They've just released him. That's, that's really weird. And I'm not going to lie, the whole setup of London's roster last year and its subsequent being let go, it's, it's really weird. It's not really added up. They were all on multi-year deals by the looks of it. It's all gone a little bit pear-shaped and it's probably cost the London the Spitfire more, more so Cloud9 a lot of money um, to release these guys and, you know, end these contracts and stuff like that. I would be gobsmacked if Glister doesn't get a team. I would be gobsmacked. Now he's LFT, no one has to pay to pay Spitfire for him. So... I would be gobsmacked if Glister did not get another team in the league. And if he doesn't, it's a travesty because he really is a great player. A really great player who shone on an uninspiring roster last year. And he deserves another shot. He deserves another shot at the league. But now we're going to come to these two very big signings. First of all, we are taking a stop at the Washington Justice. Now... I've said in previous videos that I've been up and down about the Washington Justice's moves in this offseason. First of all, they came in, you know, they re-signed Tuba and Decay, uh, and, uh, and they brought in Mag, the runaway main tank, which was a brilliant signing. Fantastic signing. Then they bring in Jerry, and Jerry's like, that's okay. Not Decay level, I wouldn't say, but that's okay. So they got the DPS on Jerry, Decay, and Tuba. Tuba did well at the end of the season. Decay is Decay, and Jerry's great. Mag is a great main tank. Then they bring in the two supports, Bebe and Closer, and we're like, well, that's a stable rock. That's a that's an okay support line. I think I think that'll do okay. It's not a mind-boggling fantastic support line by any means. It's not a trash support line by any means either. So it's a nice, steady support line. But it did seem like they're good transfers. They're good additions. But are they going to keep Washington Justice as play play playoff contenders or grand finals contenders? Which arguably they were at the end of last season. It was their favourable meta. Let's not beat around the bush there. Most of the season they were absolute rubbish. But they needed to improve. And this signing is phenomenal. The Washington Justice off tank for the 2021 season will be none other than Fury. Uh, transferring over from the Philadelphia Fusion, previously of the championship winning London Spitfire. That is a massive signing. Best player on this team, even above the K in my opinion. Fury is a top, top off tank. Even right now, he is still a top, 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 top off tank. And him alongside Mag is going to be a very, very good tank line in my opinion extremely good i think that is like at the end of last season we were looking at the washington justice uh washington justice dps and we were like damn they're good decay on the zarya yeah okay he was on off tank but damn he's good and now we're looking at it and thinking whoa the tank line the tank line for the washington justice is insane is insane that can compete with top tier tank lines in the league in my opinion so it has really changed the tide of this Washington Justice team. And now when you look at this team, you're like, that's, that's a good team. And this team reminds me kind of the Florida Mayhem last year. And I think it could be a team that performs in a very similar way. So it'll be very interesting to see how this Washington Justice works out. But that is a monumental signing for the Justice to pick up Fury. Actually, absolutely monumental. I did not think Fury was going to go down to a team like the Justice, 
Uh, I expected him to stay at Philadelphia Fusion. I am massively surprised that they've let him go. But what is Philadelphia Fusion's loss is the Washington Justice game because this is a massive signing for them, in my opinion. But the next signing caught me off guard as well. And this was this is an amazing signing. So the Philadelphia Fusion let also let go. But funny, funny both of these actually involve the Philadelphia Fusion. Um, there's a Philadelphia Fusion bought in Mano of the NYXL. And so they negated the need for Sado any longer. So Sado, possibly one of the biggest name main tanks in the league that's available for a team. Um, you know, there's been links all of across and my money was on Sado going to the Florida Mayhem because Florida Mayhem have just lost fate to the Shanghai Dragons in this big main tank merry-go-round we're having at the top of the Overwatch League where we saw Fearless go to the Dallas Fuel, then Shanghai Dragons bring in fate from the Florida Mayhem. We saw Mano go to Philadelphia, that means Sado is available. Sado's not gone to, Philadelphia, uh, to Florida, um, he's gone to Toronto Defiant. I did not see that coming. So Toronto Defiant a little while ago signed up Beast again, and we had very big questions about that. Very big questions. Um, I think I think that's to say the least. But slowly but surely, the the off season for the Toronto Defiant has been turning around. When it looked like they they just had logics, and then they brought in Beast. It was like, oh no, oh no, they're going down this route again. And then the big Pog signing came in of Aztec from WGS Phoenix. One of the best, if not the best, flex supports in Korea right now. And then you're like, oh, wait, 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 Toronto are onto something here. What are they doing? Then they bring in Anson J, the main support for Melamut Mystic. Then you're thinking, well, that's decent. Nice, nice partner for Aztec, that. And all of a sudden you're looking at, and I thought this was going to be a case of Toronto Defiant having a great support line, but not much else. Um, so the fantastic support line and then they go and smack you in the face yesterday with the signing of main tank Sado. It is almost certain that Sado will be the starting main tank for the Toronto Defiant. I do not know why they would start Beast over Sado. Um, maybe they want to run double main tank at some point. Who knows? But what a signing. What a signing for the Toronto Defiant. That has flipped the switch on their offseason. It really has. When I'm looking at this support line of Aztec and Anson J alongside the main tank Sado, boy oh boy, that's looking, that's looking mighty fine. That's looking mighty, mighty fine. The question is, who else did they get in? They still need more DPS players. They still need the off tank. Who are going to fill those roles? That is going to be pivotal for the Toronto Defiant because I tell you what, they've got, they've got great coaching staff now. Like they brought in KDG. KDG was Philadelphia Fusion last season. Yeah, it didn't go entirely well. But it's still a great, great time, a great um, coach. So imagine if they can bring in someone like QOQ. Now, QOQ was was someone I thought that might go to the Washington Justice alongside Mag. Obviously not. Um, QOQ and Sado? Anyone? Sounds pretty nice to me. I think, I think that's a pretty nice, uh, a pretty nice, pretty nice tank line right there. And then you've got them partnered with this support line. And there are plenty of great, great DPS players in the league. That Toronto Defiant could pick up. Uh, there's Glister, although I would be surprised if they s signed him alongside Logix. Although, you know, I didn't think they were going to sign another main tank, so who knows? Depends what size roster the Toronto Defiant want to go for, but there's also other options as Nero as well. So, two teams, Washington Justice and Toronto Defiant, two teams that I think have wholly kind of turned around their off seasons and really popped off in the past day or so, signing some monumental players. Sado going to the Toronto Defiant, and then obviously Fury going to the Washington Justice. Massive, massive pickups. Some of the big, biggest pickups I've seen this offseason so far. And boy, it certainly indicates that this offseason is far from over, and we will keep an eye on the Glister situation as well. But I am going to leave it here for this one. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you'd like to give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.